Uh, today we're going to have a look at Chateau Lobby number no. 4 in C major for Two Virgins by Father John Misty. Um, it's not actually in C, it's, it's in C6 because in order to get the sound um, they actually tune their guitar differently and they tune it to a C major 6 chord. Uh, that means you tune your, C, your E down to a C and 6th string. First string becomes a G, that A becomes a G. Uh, the D becomes a C, your fourth string becomes a C. Your third string becomes an E. Uh, your B string gets, the second string gets tuned down to an A. And finally your first string, your E string, becomes a C. Rather beautiful on its own. Uh, the other thing to notice as well is that uh, they play them on play this piece on a, on a Martin guitar uh, like this one, actually identical to this one. Um, uh, the reason why I think is because the, the high tension allows the guitar to stay in tune. Because if you're tuning down, if you really hit it, it goes out of tune quite easily. Uh, that's why it doesn't work so well maybe on an electric guitar, um, but it really it works very well on a on a high tension acoustic guitar. But still, you have to be careful with your strumming. You have to be quite light to keep it in tune. Now, since we've moved to tuning, obviously our chord shapes have completely changed. So actually, to get a C, now it becomes like this. So away on the third fret, the third string, where you would have got a B flat, um, uh, and then you've got the third fret of the second string, where you used to get a D, that becomes your C chord. Um, the actual verse is just simply C, D minor 7th, uh, F and, and G. Um, in order to get the D minor now, actually you actually sort of use this kind of A shape, so it's just the 6th, 5th and 4th fret of uh, uh, strings on the 2nd fret. And then you take the F here on the 1st string of the 3rd fret, 1st uh, fret, 3rd string. That's your D minor. And then your F and G based chords uh, arrive here at the 5th and 7th fret. I think you're already hearing it now. But it sounds a bit like this. And away you go again. And that's essentially the verse, that's all the verses. The chorus. Um, is very simply just F to G. And that just repeats until it goes back into. And away you go again. There's a middle eight, which is essentially just D minor to E minor, F and G. So we go back to our new D minor shape here, and then it slips up two frets to get the E minor shape, which is really great, but the open chord, and then just simply goes into F and G. the whole song. It's really lovely. Uh, just the, the trick of it though is the tuning. Uh, and besides that, I want you to relearn your chord structures. It's really great to play along to. Hope you have a lot of fun with it. Thanks for watching.